What's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel where we give you the reviews of the best equipment when it comes to production. Hope the previous videos have been helping you and you've been enjoying them as well. And we're looking forward to more comments and more subscriptions and more thumbs up. By the way, thank you for all those who subscribed. Thank you for those who gave us a thumbs up. And today we're going to be talking about a very nice equipment. It's one of my favorite equipments. Inside here, there's a very powerful tool that will help you take your videos to the next level. This is how it looks from the inside. Has a nice casing, well partitioned, just looks neat. It has two pairs of batteries where one pair can be used for like six hours. And uh, this is the charger. Looks nice, looks small and also uses the normal USB port. It has a remote control in case you just want to set it down and uh, just control it from where you're seated. Right now we're just going to do a small setup to show you how it's set up and how it works. So these are the only things that you'll need for the setup, the crane itself and the camera. So the first step is just putting in the batteries and then connecting it together to the main crane. The second step is mounting your shoe. So what you normally do is put it in the middle row, because there are three rows, so we put it in the middle row. Since we already know the weight of our camera and all that, and the lenses, so we, when you are fixing the shoe, we normally leave just a little bit of space right here. Tie it completely. So once your camera is mounted on the crane, ensure that this arm is on the right hand side and this other arm is facing you and then open up the LCD screen and now start balancing. For balancing, we normally start with this motor. So on this side, we have the knob that is used to adjust it and be able to move it to a certain position and now balancing it. So you just find a position and just try moving it forward, backward. Yes, so after balancing, it should be able to stay at one position without moving. So after balancing it, make sure you tighten the knob. Next step is balancing this motor. So for this motor, you can see the weight is going towards my left side. Open up the knob and now adjust it by pulling it on the right side because the weight was leaning on towards the left. So continue pulling it until, nope, not yet. So pushing it back in, weight is too much. Nice. Once these two motors have been balanced, you now go to the third motor. The third motor, which is on this other end. So what you normally do is just let it lie like that. Adjust it like that, Kidoko. Now just make sure that it's straight. And now you can balance. You can see the weight is coming towards my direction. So you have to push it back on the other side. And so the weight is now on this other side. So you push it back a little bit. Weight is on my side. Weight is still on my side. So there we go. Nicely balanced. Tighten it up. So right now we have, we have a nice balanced grain. Next step is just to turn it on. So this is the full setup of the Xeon crane and the Canon 80D camera. So right now we're going to do a few sample test shots. seen how to set it up and how to use it and one thing I forgot to tell you is when you're using this thing you have to walk like a ninja so stay tuned for part two where we'll be giving you more information about the different modes that you have on the crane it has only three modes 
but they can do a lot. For example, the selfie mode. Whoa, how cool is that? So this is the crane. I really love it. It's a nice product. You can get really nice shots with it. You can really get creative around it. And generally, it's just a light equipment and you can go with it anywhere. I've been your host, Titus. Till next time, adios, amigos.